Now to tonight's cover story. We all crave connection at one time or another. Maybe it's a phone call with friends or a dinner date, but some of us are just not getting enough and it's impacting our health. Atlanta News first anchor Savannah Louie joining us in Savannah. Several federal health officials are sounding the alarm about loneliness here in our country. Tracy, this is a serious problem. Loneliness can really have devastating impacts on your health. A report from the U.S. Surgeon General calling loneliness an epidemic. The report equates your risk for premature death from poor connections to smoking 15 cigarettes a day, including a 29% increased risk of heart disease, 32% increased risk of stroke, and 50% increased risk of developing dementia for older adults. And tonight, one Metro Atlanta organization is working to boost connections for adults. Smiling, joyful friends enjoying life in Metro Atlanta. But what brought these people together were shared feelings of isolation. It's hard to make friends as an adult. I think we've all experienced it. I know I've experienced it. Anna Olson founded ATL Friends, a community group connecting adults at events like this, creating the group after a cross-country move and breakup two years ago. What our goal is, is really to just create an environment where people feel safe to admit that they're lonely and not feel like there's shame around that. People, especially young people, forgot how to socialize. Licensed professional counselor Laura Morse says feelings of loneliness amplified during the COVID-19 pandemic still hang heavy. A new report from the U.S. Surgeon General finds about half of U.S. adults report measurable levels of loneliness, taking a mental and physical toll, including increased risk for heart disease, stroke, and dementia in older adults. To have healthy societies, we need to have a sense of community and people need to be able to come together, not only when we're in a crisis situation, right, but just in everyday life. ATL friends gatherings over shared interests like sporting events, picnics at Piedmont Park and fitness classes can help build stronger connections. You might say, well, at least I have this in common with this person. So if I give it myself an opportunity to talk and discuss this activity, might find that we have more things in common. I get intimidated walking up to meet more people. Um, it's not easy for anybody, but I think the more you do it and the more you put yourselves in those situations, the more you benefit from it. And that is so true. All right, so Tracy, when you look at your connections, the key here is emphasizing quality over quantity. The stronger bonds that you have, those are better than a wide network of just acquaintances, right? And the next ATL Friends event, by the way, is next Saturday. We have information about that. You can find it at AtlantaNewsFirst.com. Great to have a small circle of really yes. good friends. Savannah, exactly. thank you. All right, let's